this story contains an old man, a noble woman, Mald Merrick, and an old woman. This is the story of Yannick. A rich old man laid his eyes upon the most beautiful noble woman he had ever seen and decided to take her as his wife. The noble woman was not as excited about the plan as the old man was, and so he tells the old woman, his sister, about his desire to lock the noble woman up in the top of a tower and keep her. The noble woman becomes increasingly upset as she accepts her fate of being locked in the tower. Her beauty fades. Seven years later. The noble woman has all but lost hope. In a last cry for help, she calls upon a knight to come and save her. A hawk flies up to her window, and before her very eyes, it turns into a man. Like show that they just it was love at yeah. first sight. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The noble woman told the man that she could not be with him unless he could prove his loyalty to God. So they develop a plot for him to prove himself as a Christian man. Moldemeric, a seasoned shapeshifter, becomes the noble woman in order to fake an illness so that he can be absolved by a priest. The noble woman wanted proof that Moldemeric would uphold his end of the deal, and so she hid behind a dresser to watch the plot unfold. The noble woman believes the knight to be a Christian, and he gets ready to leave. But before he departs, he says, Call for me whenever you would like. But remember, the more I come, the higher chance that we will be caught by the old woman. The old man asked his sister, Have you noticed that my wife's happiness and beauty has returned? The old woman promises to get to the bottom of it. Three days later... The old woman hides behind a dresser and watches Maldemeric fly into the room as a hawk. Before her very eyes, he transforms into a man. Yeah. The old woman tells her brother that his wife's beauty has returned because she has fallen in love with a shapeshifter. The old man decides to fake a hunting trip so that his wife will call upon Malda Merrick. Malda Merrick hears her call and comes, but he gets stuck by the blades that the old man and the old woman have added to the window. A bloodied Malda Merrick transforms back into a man to tell his fainting mistress, I told you so. The knight comforts her, telling the noble woman that she is pregnant with their child, who will grow to be a brave knight. The child will avenge Maldemeric's death by killing her evil husband, and he will be named Yannick. Maldemeric has flown away, but the noble woman cannot take not knowing the fate of her lover, and so she flings her body out of the window and follows a trail of his blood. The noble woman follows the trail of blood through a forest and then a meadow and comes upon a golden city. She believes that the trail of blood will lead her to her lover. She follows the trail to a magnificent golden castle. After entering the castle, she eventually comes upon a dying Moldemeric laying in a golden bed. He warns her that she will be blamed for his death. The noble woman tells Moldemeric that she is scared to go home because she's worried that her husband will kill her, and so he gives her a ring that will make him forget, a sword that Yannick, their son, is going to use to kill the old man one day and then a dress because she's been naked the entire time.
She leaves the city and hears bells toll as Malda Merrick passes on. She returns home and everything is fine after she gives the old man the ring. In the upcoming months, she starts showing a pregnant stomach. As Malda Merrick foretold, the child is born and named Yannick. Many years later. The old man is invited to a feast and brings his family along. As they are on a tour of the city, they come across a beautiful golden tomb. They hear tales about the brave knight and are told that the city has been awaiting his son. The noble woman confesses to Yannick that he is this son. Afterwards, the noble woman faints and falls upon her old lover's tomb and dies. To avenge his parents' death, Yannick now cuts the head off of the man who raised him. The noble woman is now laid to rest beside Molda Merrick. Yannick becomes the lord of his true father's old city.